Thanks, DC. Um, and thank you everyone for, for being here. Um, I really couldn't be more thrilled to talk about Dutor coming to Des Moines in May. Um, as we come out of a very rough year globally, um, it was so great to make this announcement yesterday, which generated so much buzz and excitement. Um, Des Moines, you know, has been on our radar for a while now. Um, it's part of our future planning and exploration of new markets. Uh, Des Moines has an incredibly loyal Mountain Dew fan base, and we knew our partners, California Skate Parks, um, who builds our custom courses, were close to finishing, you know, the nation's, nation's largest skate park uh, in the heart of the city. Um, so when Catch Des Moines and, and Polk County um, reached out to us, the, the stars really aligned. And after a few visits to Des Moines, um, we, we knew it was the right fit. I could tell you one thing, there are going to be a lot of very good skateboarders coming out of Des Moines. <laughs> and uh, I'm from a small town myself. I'm from Kansas City. Uh, you know, it's not a big market at all. And so for the Midwest to be able to have a, a skate park of this caliber is very special. Um, and then obviously, you know, Courtney did talk about how it, like Iowa, Des Moines is a big, big market for Mountain Dew. And so to have all of that come together, it's incredible. Um, I'm excited to see the park. I'm excited to skate the park. I'm excited to see the future of skateboarding from Des Moines. And uh, yeah, it's just, you know, May is going to be a very special month for a lot of us skateboarders and a lot of the uh, action sports riders of Des Moines as well. And Jordan, final question for you. What do you think it's going to be like to compete at Dutour on a brand new course in a new market as uh, Dew has been in California? You know, we've been in Long Beach for the past four years. Yeah, I'm really, really excited. Um, I've actually never been to Iowa or Des Moines, but I have family out there. So that'll be exciting to be able to have them come out. Um, and yeah, brand new courses. I always love a brand new course, no matter what. That's probably one of my favorite things about traveling for contests is going and like figuring out a new park going and like you see the photos you get all excited and it feels like forever until you're there and once you're there you're like oh my gosh it's even better than I thought it was and so to, just to go and figure out a new park is just fun in itself but to have not only a brand new park but also the world's largest skate park and we're some of the first people to skate it is even more exciting. Um, so let's hear from some of the people who helped make the Lordson Skate Park and Duke Floor reality for Des Moines. Greg Edwards with Catch Des Moines, the CEO. How did the Dew Tour, in your words, come to land in Des Moines? Well, it's all about the Dew, you know? <laughs> we said, you build it, we'll do it here in Des Moines. In fact, uh, my kids have already uh, renamed Des Moines as Dew Moines. <laughs> You know, the S's are silent anyway, so what the heck? Um, you know, this goes way back. Um, I think everybody knows what it takes. It takes a total effort to get a project like this off the ground and to be done. And I can't give enough credit to people like Angela Conley, Christine Hensley, the Greater Des Moines Partnership, other business leaders that formed this Skate DSM board years ago and really started putting all this together. So it all started with a vision. And really the end vision is this, because they kept looking at us at Catch Des Moines saying, hey, if we build it, what kind of things we can we get in here? What kind of economic impact can this have on the community, on the entire state of Iowa? And we grabbed hold of it. And I've got a great team here as Courtney and, and some of the Dew crew know um, that have worked very hard with all these great people with Dew Tour. And they started months ago putting the bug in their ear saying, hey, we got this little skate park that's gonna be ready next spring, little as in the biggest in the United States. Um, and, they, and they put the bug in the ear and, and Courtney and her team reached back out to us and said, you know, we're gonna come out and take a look at you. So they came out in February. It was only 25 below zero when they were here for the site visit. The uh, entire course was covered with snow, but they loved it. They could see the vision. They could see where this thing was going. So, you know, our entire community, you know, we buzz about this stuff. You know, we've hosted 
NCAA men's basketball. We host the Drake Relays every year. We host USA Track and Field Championships, all kinds of different sporting events in this community. We love our sports, and we love our extreme sports like skateboarding. Well, thank you very much, Greg. And uh, Angela Connolly from Polk County Board of Supervisors got some questions for you now. If you could talk about the massive collaboration that took place to get Lawrence and Skate Park built. Okay, but just for the record, I hate following Greg Edwards. <laughs> I've been doing it for the last 22 years. Okay, so, um, well, we've been working on this project for a long time, but I really got involved in the last couple of years, and the excitement for our youth is really unprecedented. So uh, it really does take a collaboration of everybody. It started out with a, a community organizer. They took a survey and they wanted to know what is the number one thing that youth want in our community. And that number one thing was a skate park. There's these little ones all around in our region, but nobody, uh, you know, they were doing it out in the street and they were ruining some of the curbs and elected officials were mad because it was costing them money. So they said, you know, we really need a nice skate park. If you want to get us off the streets, build us a nice skate park. And I said, okay, well, I'm going to get involved in that project. I've got grandkids. They want to do it. So that's what I did. And it took a lot of people. Uh, I formed a, we formed a committee. We got co-chairs. We had to raise a lot of money, more money than I thought we needed. And if we were going to do it, I said, we got to go big. So we decided to build the biggest one that we had, we could do. And we, and they hired the California skate park, which is the best. And uh, we, people rallied behind it. Took us a while to get there, but we finally did it. But like I said, it takes partnerships. As Greg mentioned, the business community, the partnership, the city of Des Moines who donated the ground. Uh, Polk County, I can't think, thank enough of my colleagues. If I didn't have my votes on this the board, I would have never pulled it off. So uh, I'm thankful that it took a lot of folks to put it together.